Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have understood about this Angular test bed, how to debug the template in a component using the Angular test bed we have seen. So the methods, whatever the methods available in the test bed we have seen that is nothing but native element, debug element and these are the things we have seen it, right? First, we will try to understand one by one. So first, we will learn about this native element. So how we can access that access the template of a component elements present in the template using the native element let's try to see it now if you try to see our post component this is our post component right so if i try to open post component.html so let's close this one single post component.html and i let's let me try to open this ts file also and here this is the post component class file and in this class file we are having a input one property post property so this post property will handle the single post details now when you go to this html thing and here we are having an anchor link and in this anchor link when a post is present so that means single post item is present it will display the post title so now we need to test in a such a way that whenever a post data is there so we need to check that whether this ang anchor element is displaying the title of the post or not so let's try to debug this one so whenever we are we are having a post data single post data so we need to check that whether the template the anchor element is having the title of the post or not we need to check it let's try to see so let's try to write this one now here i am creating a new test that is nothing but it should render the post title in the anchor element okay let's try to see the output now here this is the anchor element now what we need to do so first we need to have the post so in order to show that post data post title in this anchor element first we need to have the single post let's say okay let's let's try to take this one already we have declared a post, sample post data here i am writing and here i will change this one to title one or something like this so here we are having a post single post data now what I need to do, we have a component, so that is nothing but fixture.component instance. So we can access the post title, so this one, this post variable using this component. So okay, let's go here and let's assign this component.post is equal to post. So I have added the post data, so whatever the post data we have created, and I have added into the component post property. Now we need to get the anchor element so what is that anchor element so this is the anchor element we need to parse this anchor element and we need to check that whether the title of the post is there or not so first in order to get the template first what we need to do so we need to get the html element so here constant post element post element we will get that complete element so post element is equal to okay it is of type html element. we know that it is of type html element is equal to here we can access picture dot native element okay so we got the native element now we need to so we got this all entire entire native element and in this native element we need to search for this anchor element so right now we have only one anchor element so i can search directly with the anchor element so we, if you have more than one anchor element means you can search it with the class name or something like that so here I am having only one anchor element. So I am searching with the A directly tag name. Constant A is equal to. So I want to get the A is equal to post element dot query selector. Okay. Of A. So here we are having this anchor element. So we got this post element dot query selector of A. Now what we need to do is expect a dot text content so we need to check that the text content has to contain or otherwise you can check with the two equal also nothing i think which are reason so two contain so which one it need to contain anchor element text element so text contents this anchors text content what is the thing you need to contain post dot title right here we can we have the post variable so we can check that with post dot title that's it so now we have did this one so let's try to execute so here if i try to see the output and we are getting an error that expected undefined to contain title one so now here let's go to this code 
So here the post title, title one, it is trying to see, and a dot text content we are getting undefined. So what is the problem we are getting? So here what we need to understand is, so whenever you add the data to the components property, and we need to tell to detect the changes. So here we have assigned some data to the property class properties or class methods. So we need to ask the Angular component to detect the changes and to update the state here. So in order to detect the changes, what we need to do is, so whenever we assign this one, so we need to use fixture dot detect changes. So now whenever we change these all the things, so whenever we do this fixture dot detect changes, so it will update the template, it, everything the template will be updated again. So with the latest state data. Now here we have assigned this post to the component instance. So immediately when you call this fixture dot detect changes, automatically the HTML element will get updated with the post. So now if you try to see the output, so let's try to, okay, let's try to save it. Okay. So I have saved it. Now if you try to see, so let it execute. See, it got executed successfully. So now it should render the post title in the anchor element. So the test got passed. So now if you try to see here the same thing, now I will try to do with the test dot body. So I, I will be checking with the test dot body. So anchor element, the text content will contains the body of the post, not title of the post. Let's try to see whether the test fails or not. So if you try to see here, the test got failed. Here it is telling that expected title one to contain body one. So it doesn't contain the body one. Actually, it is content title one. So now we can change it to post dot title here. Okay, so this is the thing we can do it. So here, this is how we will be debugging the template of the component. Now, if you try to see the output, okay, here we have we need to change it to here, right? So post dot title. Okay, we let's save this one again. So we will get success. The test got passed. Okay, so let's check it. The test got passed. And if you try to see the console here, if you try to see the console. We are able to see that cannot bind router link to the since it is an unknown property of A. So we are getting an error whenever we try to see the whenever we try to run this fixture dot detect changes. Whenever we run this fixture dot detect changes, we got an error that cannot bind to router link. So what is the problem here? So if we try to see here the router link is an attribute. So it's a directive. So now this one, so this router link in order to this router link. So this, this, this test bed cannot understand this router link. Why? Because we haven't included any router module or anything in this test bed. So for that reason, so it is raising the router link. I am, I am unable to understand the router link to this anchor link. It is trying to say. So now in order to overcome this one, so we'll try to learn one by one. So in order to overcome this one, so what I can do is, so we can do, okay, error, sorry, we can do, so here we can do, not console.log error, sorry. So we can add the schema. Okay. So we can add the schema. So for the time being, so why? Because we haven't learned up to the router thing and all those things, right? Let's try to suppress these all the things. So no errors underscore schema. Let's try to use this no errors underscore schema. So let's try to see. So now whatever the errors that are displayed in the template, so it will not show any errors in the console. Now let's try to execute this one. So if I try to execute this code, see now the console was cleared. So, but is not, but that is not the right way for the time being, what I was trying to do is I am trying to suppress the console errors, router link and all those things. When we come to testing the router link and all those things, we will try to overcome these all the scenarios. So right now we can keep it this one, no errors underscore schema. Why? Because we are having this router link and all those things. If you want miss, you can remove this one, but we will test this router link also coming on. So this is how we will be re We will be parsing the HTML template in a component using the test bit. So hope you understood about this on fixture.native element and all those things. In the next video, what we'll try to learn is we'll try to learn about the debug element also by.css and all those things we have learned. We have learned it right in the previous video. So let's try to see that in the practical implementation also and the difference between this native element and debug element also we have learned it. So let's try to see it. Hope you understood about this one test bed uh, template uh, rendering. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the co comments below to this video. I will try to give the reply. And also if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.